Hello, welcome back to a lesson with me. I'm your host Abdul Rahman, and today in this support seminar for English language, we will be continuing with the work that we have been doing so far. We have been discussing 2019 paper. 2019 paper, overall paper for English has been our focus in this series, and today let's continue, and we are going to start off with test number nine. Test number nine is to do with vocabulary, right? Test number nine is to do with your vocabulary, and uh, let me select the laser. I have selected the laser right now, okay? And uh, we are testing whether you can fill gaps, or if you are able to fill these gaps. You have been given in this case six gaps, and one has already been done for you, so you have to fill the other gaps. So. what is expected out of this so we are testing one of your competency levels the level is to see if we could assess the ability of you to use nouns verbs adjectives adverbs in a more appropriate manner so all these words come under one of those title it will either be a verb an adverb a noun or an adjective let's start Once a month I go to the public library in my town. Last week I visited the library and borrowed a book from the lending section. Now they have done that for you. They have just underlined that, okay? So when you say borrowed a book, bought a book and provided a book. So let let's uh, come back to that. The first one given to you is bought a book the second one is um borrowed and uh, the next one that you get is provided okay so to buy something you should know my dear children as you already know to be honest you have to go to a shop okay shop or a mall and then you can buy things for example i bought some vegetables from the vegetable stall i bought some vegetables from the vegetable stall so do you have to pay money yes you either have to pay money okay or you should you can buy by credit right so using credit or money you will buy something so do you have to return it no you don't have to return it you can return if you don't like it but necessarily you don't want to return what you bought from the shop and when you borrow something my dear children what happens you have to return it you have to return what you bought so it is also for a period of time for example you can buy something for 5 days or you can borrow a book for 5 days but when you buy a book for 5 days is it correct no you don't buy something for 5 days right you buy something to last so when you borrow something or when you have borrowed something it is something that you have to return as sri lankans we know that we are very cooperative with our neighbors it can be somebody that you know or somebody that you don't know it can be a family member have you seen your mother sometimes they ask your neighbor Uh, can you give me some salt or can you give me half of a coconut shell right not a shell actually a coconut you can see that they always borrow things from one another so this sort of a uh, harmonious environment exists in sri lanka and we should be very glad and happy that we live in a country such as this so as sri lankans we always borrow things from one another and also as good citizens we should also be able to return them okay so what what do you mean or what does it mean when you say you provided something provided is uh, related to being generous so when somebody is generous it means that he have provided for you your father has provided you with something the government has provided free books for you So when you say provided it does not necessarily mean that you have to buy it or you have to borrow it or you have to return it it simply means that is what it is okay 
so see borrowed a book from the lending section so lending is where you can go and borrow a book so if you want to rent out something they will lend it out to you in uh, sri lanka in different banks and different organizations you can go and keep one of your um, jewelry right gold or something and you can borrow a certain amount of money for interest so these banks also have a lending section okay let's continue how long can i keep the book how long can i keep the book so why don't i say how long can i save the book can i say how long can i save the book no you can't but you can say you can keep the book because depending on the noun that you are using you use different verbs how long can i lend the book is it uh, a suitable answer no it is not because you can't lend a book that you already do not possess the library can give you something so they are lending you so when they lend you you can keep it okay so lend is not suitable you may think save is suitable but no my dear children depending on the noun it is not suitable keep is to keep with you save is also to save with you but please look at the noun that is why our assessing ability here or what we assess is whether you can use these words in this case verbs in the most appropriate manner okay i asked the lady in the lending room i told the lady in the lending room now my dear children what do you think is the most suitable answer in this case asked told spoke i'll write those words for you so what are the words in this case okay asked okay then you have uh, told and you also have spoke all right so asked is to ask for a favor you can say right it is not the most accurate answer you can ask for a favor for example you can say the teacher asked us to bring our books the teacher asked us to teacher asked us so when you say ask us it is similar to requested okay so when you say asked us you can say requested us both of them have the same meaning or you can say they ask for a pair of shoes they were asking us so you are asking somebody means you are requesting something right so told is more specific where you deliver or give uh, information or some directions okay you can give some information or you can give some directions or whatever that you give out so it has to go out right for example you can give an instruction as well i told him to be silent in the class i told him to be silent in the class so in this case what happens is you are telling somebody okay so asked and told are not the same ask is more mild mannered okay so you are like requesting i ask him to be silent in the class means you are giving him not an order but rather you are speaking to him in a very mild and mellow manner when you say told it's sort of like an uh, how do i put it um, i can't say it's sort of like an order but it is similar to being a bit harsh towards them right but sometimes we have to be uh, a bit strong with what you speak as well spoke is to have a familiar conversation okay so you can have a familiar conversation you can see uh, i had a i spoke to him so spoke and converse or uh, conversation has similar meanings in this case for example i spoke to him about our situation so what does it mean i spoke to him about our situation it means that 
you just discussed with him right so discussion mode has the word which is um, discussion right has a similar meaning to spoke right let's come back now the book i found was a novel written by a british author author in this case can also be termed as a writer for example as i told you before as we have discussed previously the author of madal duo is mr martin vikramasinghe the author of malgudi days or swami and friends is r k narayanan why don't i take a more popular pop culture approach the author of harry potter book series is j k rowling right so all these means that it is written by somebody <clears throat> right now see the something of the novel was invisible man so is it title or is it caption or is it heading if you understand these words children you will be able to get the grasp of this particular line so they speak about the novel and they say that the novel is uh, titled invisible man or do they say it is caption invisible man or is the heading invisible man so see so you can't use caption here you should have understood that previously but if you haven't caption is something that you give for example in whatsapp i have seen most of you and uh, when you go through the status put forth by different people there is usually a photo and under the photo you can write okay i am going to uh, some place or we are having fun or you give a caption so caption is essentially a very small description so you can say a caption <coughs> is a description of something i'm not telling you this is the exact meaning is a description of let's say of a picture to be honest okay is the caption a long one no this is a short description right so i can include that as well a short description of a picture i'll just put here whatsapp status so you might know what i mean in whatsapp status you can see my dear children there is a photo and underneath the photo somebody has written uh, what it means okay what is it or with whom or there will be some smiley face that's enough so that adds value so in this case you cannot use caption all right and you cannot use heading as well heading and title is in the order of hierarchy okay so title has a higher hierarchy than heading on the front page what you write is the title for an essay you write a heading so remember it will be the title the title of the novel was invisible man invisible what does it mean invisible now invisible is the opposite of visible okay now i'll give you that as well when you say invisible invisible you can say that it is the opposite of one word i'm going to highlight that particular uh, phrase out so in is a prefix right so using this prefix you can say invisible the opposite will be visible visible is something you can see visible is something that uh, you can see so invisible is something that you cannot see you using your naked eye in this case okay so that is why we say these microorganisms are invisible even though they you can see through microscopes and stuff like that we say that they are invisible because we cannot see through our naked eye so the title is invisible man it was a small book with pretty handsome beautiful so you can say beautiful or you can say pretty or you can say handsome because you will think all these three has similar meanings yes obviously you are correct pretty handsome beautiful has same meaning or similar sort of a meaning but why can't we use handsome 
why can't we say pretty or why can we say beautiful the reason usually is my dear children when you want to speak about handsome there are different terms why you use handsome but in this case look at the noun it says pictures usually pretty and handsome are used to describe living things handsome usually for males and pretty is used for living things and uh, plants you can say there is a pretty girl okay there is a handsome boy okay your dress looks pretty you can say that as well even though it is not a living thing but when you want to speak about pictures okay and as it accompanies the word with the most appropriate word that to use is beautiful okay so it was a small book with beautiful pictures it took one week for me to finish and close all these three have the same meaning very similar but when you want to speak about reading you don't end reading the book because end is for a film you don't close reading the reading the book because you close the book but you don't close reading the book you can say finish reading the book as i was very busy however i enjoyed the book much so why don't we underline the answers or why don't we highlight the answers in this case okay so in this case how long can i keep it right so this is the answer um i asked the lady in the lending room the title of the novel was invisible man it was a small book with what beautiful pictures it took me one week it took one week for me to finish reading the book there you go children that is what we have done for test number 9 right now let us go to test number 10 we are in test number 10 essentially now in test number 10 it says that ravi pasan and navin went to see a movie yesterday okay so this is in past tense given below are some statements or questions from the conversation that took place among them after the movie so they are speaking about the movie now even when we go to the movie after the movie is over we review it we speak to each other rewrite each of them using the reporter speech the first one is done for you right now in test number 10 my dear children you can see it's a sort of a dialogue right between two people ravi and pasand and navi so they are speaking with each other so dialogue as i we have discussed is a conversation it can be with two people or more than two people but in this case there are three so what we want to see is whether you can use report speech accurately so that is our uh, plan here and you don't have to write the full answer you just have to complete the blanks and they have done for one for you as well right let's go through that very slowly so that we can get the idea ravi it is a fantastic movie it is a fantastic movie so in report speech what happens is my dear children you say something that happened or you go one space back okay so i'll write test number 10 here um, so that it's easy for you and it has to do with reported right reported speech right what happens here is you go one step back for example if it is in present tense you go to past tense what is the example that was given to us ravi what does he say i'll write ravi and what does he say it is a fantastic movie okay i'll give you a small clue my dear children as to how to finish this off right so that is his statement so he is making a statement so you write ravi said that okay ravi said that it instead of is you can say was a fantastic fantastic means awesome right fantastic movie what has happened in this case is we have added one phrase which is said that and was has been converted sorry um was has been converted for example 
Ravi said it is a fantastic movie. It goes to it was a fantastic movie. So as it is a statement, we usually use the word said that. Now this is in present tense. This is in past tense. To be more specific, this is in present what? Simple. Okay. And this is also in present simple. So remember the grammar rule. When you want to convert something into reported speech, you don't change the type of the tense. When I say type of the tense, I mean a simple tense will not go to a continuous tense for example you don't say it was being uh, something similar to that no you don't say that that it had been a fantastic movie you don't say that so simple must remain simple okay so in this case that's what has happened the transition so remember that what about the next one person it is the best movie i had ever seen so person said that it was the best movie they have done up to that i'll write only this part he says i have ever seen i have ever seen let us identify the verb here the verb given to you here is have right so now you have to convert that into the next level next level in this case this is present so it has to go to past right and we are speaking about person person says that he had seen it okay so in this case as we are speaking about person we will start as he this i changes to he why because person person is masculine and he's a boy and uh, the masculine term for i is he if it is feminine we can say she so instead of have you'll write had ever seen see it's not that tough it's quite simple my dear children it's not that tough at all so you can see what has happened i have ever seen has become he had ever seen all right now what about this person is asking person asking uh, i'm sorry it's navin right i'm glad that i saw it i am glad that i saw it so Naveen said that he was glad that I saw it. I'm going to convert that. Okay. I saw it. Now let's start because uh, you know that when you want to speak about uh, myself, it will be transited or it will be changed to, in this case, he. Because male. So right. I saw it. He. Now see, look. It is already in past tense. Now you had to go one step back. You have to go one step back. How can you go one step back? It's quite simple. Now this is in past simple. You will go to past perfect. It will be had what? What's the next word? Seen it. So saw. The past participle of saw is seen. So to show that it is in perfect uh, past perfect format, you can say he had seen it. But my dear children, it is possible that in grade 9 in Sri Lankan syllabus that you have learned about reported speech. And if you haven't, please go to grade 9 book and there's a chart by the end of the book. Uh, it's in green uh, color sort of a box I can remember. Is, uh, there is one particular style that they have emphasis which is using a back shift and without using a back shift so back shift I'll, I'll go through that back shift right so what is back shift right I'll start what back shift is in this case let us look at a, an example that you might get it in a much better way let's say like this I'm going to write my now my name so it's Abdul right here. Abdul said. Or I can say. Now I'm just telling you now. Right? What I say is this. I like ice creams. This is my statement. I like ice creams. Now let's assume that 
as uh, children you go and speak to some of your friends right and then you are telling what did you speak with your teacher yesterday so you are speaking about this conversation you are telling abdul said that he liked ice creams okay that's perfect well done now this is the use of a back shift and somebody else says that abdul said that okay abdul said that he likes ice cream okay now there will be a confusion between you my dear children as to which is correct i <coughs> excuse me i highly recommend that um, as children you stick to the first format where it will not confuse you but as you have to learn more and as you like to learn more i'll explain the second sentence to you as well this one as well now just because you say that i liked ice creams it does not necessarily mean that tomorrow i will not like ice cream right so which means that tomorrow also i would be in favor of ice creams so back shift is where we change the tense for example from present tense to past tense this is known as back shift and this is how you might have studied reported speech in your school as well but remember my dear children the second sentence is not wrong it is also correct because you are telling about the incident and you are remembering it as you say it for example you can say i am glad that i saw it navin says that in the movie right i am glad that i saw it you can say navin said he was glad that he saw it that is also correct but it is better that you stick to the format that you have been learning so far he had seen it let's come back pasan ravi did you like the ending pasan ask ravi if instead of you you can say he like it will be liked l i k e d he liked the ending okay so it will be he liked the ending now look at the fifth one my dear children ravi i will ask my brother to see it as well so it will be ravi said that he would ask his brother to see it as well so you can see that i will ask my brother to see it as well it is transformed to he would ask his brother so remember my dear children when you want to speak about reported speech there will be a change in the tenses as well as a change in the pronoun as well so you can see both of these and uh, finally navin is asking a question it is interrogative what is the name of the main actress what is the name of the main actress navin wanted to know what the name of the main actress was so in this interrogative question you have converted into a statement using two steps the first step is to identify the verb the be verb here is is right so the first step what you will do is you will remove this is okay and write only this the name of the main actors so you'll write what the name of the main actors and now you take this is and put it in the end so it will be what the name of the main actors is now you know that in reporter speech my dear children it is essential that you go for a back shift or that you take this is and convert it it convert into a past tense so you can say finally navin wanted to know what the name of the main actress was my dear children i have done a separate video on reporter speech and i'll give that in the comments as well and uh, you can also go to the channel and watch it please remember to like subscribe share 
the content and uh, give your comments in the feedback section as well so that uh, we might be able to provide you with more quality content right now let's go to test number 11 test number 11 my dear children is as i believe one of the most challenging activities that you can get in a gce ordinary level paper why is it challenging the reason is it is to test your language proficiency you can see there are 14 blanks and you have to fill all the blanks it's a gap filling activity so it's a blanked or oh, i'm sorry a banged closed passage so you are given a short descriptive passage it can be a factual essay it can be an article or it can be the part of a newspaper and every fifth verb except the first line or the second line fifth or the fourth verb is removed you can see for example one two three four blank one two three four blank one two three four and stop again one blank one two three four five then blank so you see every fourth verb or the fifth verb is removed it can be a verb adjective adverb preposition whatever the word is taken out and what we see is whether you can understand and you can use the word appropriately in a context so using this we can assess your overall ability in this work first of all let us go through the words given to you you have over depth because fascinating home wide live or live in this case to farming north of itineraries and then you also have most visitors often or often right my dear children let us go through the work over the past few years tourism in the east african country of tanzania has been growing fast tanzania has a really now i'm going through in one of the methods that we do there are several methods where you can do the closed passage or this uh, bank closed but i'm going through one particular method right so with regard to the other methods that you can do i have done a video on that as well my dear children and uh, you can go through and watch that the video is titled how proficient are you in english okay that is also in my channel you can watch that so i'll just go through one method okay very quickly right so let's start tanzania has been growing fast tanzania has a really so when you when you say really you are going to say that uh, about tourism you are going to say that is awesome then you can say that's beautiful something similar to that so the most uh, closest word is here fascinating right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the highlighter first i'll change the ink color to something like black and then i'm going to take the highlight in this case right mm, where is the highlight right okay okay it's actually green and i'm going to highlight the words that i, I have used already so you can do that as well when you have done the word you can just highlight it right tanzania has a really fascinating fascinating is wonderful multicultural history just like sri lanka isn't it sri lanka is also a multicultural country multicultural multi-religious a harmonious and peaceful country history and is what is this two many different tribes so they simply say that you can understand different tribes live here so can you say is live to no you can't say is live to so you, you should say that their residence or their home is here. So you can see the word home is given to you. So you can say is home to many different tribes. So what do they do? They live, as I said, just like Sri Lanka. They live, okay? They live peacefully together and have a range of occupations. So occupation essentially means my dear children as you already know it means a job so a range of occupations means different types of jobs 
so in this case the most or the closest word that you can come to different is wide okay so that means different so you can say have a wide range of occupations such as what now they are look at the second word here after and making so you should know that making traditional jewelry this is in a continuous format so the only job that has a continuous format here is farming isn't it farming and making traditional jewelry visits dash tribal villages so you are going to visit tribal verbs so going to means visits to isn't it see it's very simple my dear children just one method the other methods i have given in my other video you can go and watch it in my channel uh, tribal villages notably to those what they say masai or masai i don't know uh, maybe masai so they say that those of the masai why do you say of the masai because you are speaking about an association or you are speaking about in this case to going to a tribe and uh, so in this case we are speaking about something so you can say of the masai in the what country what of the country can you say most of the country no it should be a place or a region of the country so the region in this case is north see in one particular essay it's very tiring and in this activity what we have seen is to see whether you can identify the words whether you can read the context properly you can match the activities you can see the most appropriate position isn't it so with this 14 blanks uh, the department of examinations in this case is able to assess your language proficiency right let's continue masai in the north of the country are what what should be the most appropriate word here in number 9 are often a highlight of travel why do you say often or often here because always when you for example when you want to go to a place usually many of the children out there when when we ask where do you want to go they say no really because they have been to nearly hundreds and thousands of times maybe but they still want to go to norway because they are attracted to it so so the, that is the highlight of the travel that is the highlight of your travel journey right so similarly the north of the country in tanzania they have this masai tribe and that is where they want to go so it's a highlight often a highlight of travel what itineraries so when you want to see the brochures and everything in about sri lanka uh, in tourism you can go to their website they usually have some very common themes an elephant is always there it's not often there but it's always always there why is it there because it's one of our highlights the yala park will park to park it is there then we have a botanical gardens then our natural lakes are there so these are all included in itineraries of our brochures so in this case it is included in there also right last year tanzania welcomed about 290000 what welcome means you are welcoming somebody somebody is coming so you have to speak about a person so the only persons given here are visitors about 290000 visitors which made tourism the third now see they are selling the third and you you know obviously this should be an adjective at the same time it should be a superlative adjective the only superlative adjective that you can find here is most the third most important source of foreign exchange only coffee and cotton brought in more revenue so following coffee and cotton tourism is booming in tanzania according to this tourists are attracted to tanzania why so the reason is so instead of writing reason is you can say in one word because because or you can say because is up to you tanzania because of its golden beaches and its unusual graphical or geographical features geography as you know is to do with the land right and the land structure it has lakes of amazing what amazing means you are amazed by the lakes so usually a lake 
if you take the only word that's remaining here is you can't be amazing over it should be amazing depth so it's how deep it is tanzania also has more land devoted to natural parks and game reserves than any other wildlife destination in the world now look my dear children they have told you there is one extra word so the extra word is over so this is one method of doing test number 11 if you want to do more what you can do is my dear children you can visit my ch channel as you can see and in that you can see about how you can do in a different method if you are not familiar with this thorough reading method there is possibility of you to go and look at that which is much simpler and much easier to go through and finally let's go through test number 12. test number 12 my dear children is to do with uh, one of your famous uh, works in this case now I'll, I won't say what it is but rather let us go through that and then when we go through you'll be able to understand what we expect from this completing this activity as it is also a grammar activity we see that whether you can uh, construct sentences using the correct verb form so most of the children out there they find it difficult to complete this activity more than test number 11 because it tests whether you understood the lesson of verbs properly verbs are highly essential for any language and in this case of english it is not an exception look at test number 12 you have to fill gaps and you have to use english grammar in an accurate and also in an effective way and then you can complete this activity let's go through this my dear children i'll write the answers as well separately in the paper so that it's easy for you ramesh is a businessman he often travels remember how can you understand the word travels must be here travels must be here because of this word which is often often is an adverb of frequency similar to always and uh, rarely and then never sometimes all these are adverbs of frequency so due to this word often it has to be travels or a present simple verb on business trip last month he go so what is the past tense of go he went on a trip to paris in france he went on a trip to paris in france so i'll just try to write it here i don't know if my handwriting would be quite uh, clear to you my dear children but anyway i will try he went on a trip to paris in france during the tour he stayed at shangri-la hotel in paris the shangri-la is also available in sri lanka right now right in gaul road you can find shangri-la hotel previously he stayed at the same hotel is it correct no why because of this sentence because of this particular phrase you can't say he stayed so if you say stayed here i'll write here stayed s t a y i'm sorry s t a y and then you have e ah d if you write stayed here it is wrong so instead you have to write one particular verb extra which is h a d which is had stayed okay which he had stayed at the same hotel at least three times on the last day of the trip he went to see the eiffel tower it is a special monument now build should be in the past simple format why because they don't speak about something that happened before that so you can simply say instead of writing build you can say built b u i then you have l then you have t special monument built in 1889 to celebrate the centennial of the french revolution so look up the word centenary in the dictionary my dear children i'm going not going to say that what it means um, 
so that it will be a boost for you to see and read more as well when he arrived there he welcomed by one of his school friends so some of the school friend welcomed him so it is not what you think it should be he was welcomed isn't it he was welcomed so why do you say he was welcomed in this case my dear children because of the sentence structure look at the sentence structure look it once and twice and thrice you will be able to see that it has changed you can't say he welcomed by one because of this word by you can get an idea that he was welcomed by one of his school friends nalin who lives in paris so they are speaking about nalin he something for a company they are at least for 10 years look keywords so that means he had started working in the company and he is still working now so you can say he had worked in company for at least 10 years or you can say he has been working in that company for 10 years right so you can say either of the two you can say one or you can say the other one as well so my dear children today what we have discussed so far is we have discussed about in 2019 paper we have discussed about test number 9 10 11 12 i also have done the same lessons in a shorter format in my channel you can go to english for a month course it is also there and you can follow the course for a month or you can go and look at the videos that is given there please remember to like share and subscribe to our channel and click on the bell button icon so that you will never miss your notifications i hope to see you once again in another lesson